Hi, everybody. I'm Tim Stout. Welcome to the Nick Saban Show. Nice to have you with us today. We've got a good show planned for you. In the long history of Michigan State football, no head coach has ever beaten the Michigan Wolverines in his very first try. Well, that streak has now come to an end. Nick is here. Nick, congratulations. That's a pretty long streak. Some pretty good company. There have been a lot of good coaches at Michigan State. I don't know what it means to you, but I think the Michigan State fans today are very, very happy that you won in your first try over Michigan. Well, we're very pleased for all the people that associate with Michigan State, but um, most importantly, we're happy for our players. Uh, I think they did a great job in the game. Uh, they really laid it on the line. I don't think we left much on the field uh, in terms of the effort and the toughness we played with in the game. And, you know, we told our players before we went into the game, the stage will be never, never be set any better for you to have a significant impact, you know, on a school, in a game, than what this game will be. And there'll be very few days the rest of your life where you don't come in to some encounter, you know, with a person from the University of Michigan. Uh, and this is something that you'll live with forever. So we're very happy for them that they succeeded. and. We're glad to see them get some positive reinforcement for all the work they've done, and I guess this is, this is what you do it for. Now, you had to get an awful lot of football out of a lot of players, no turnovers in the game, and it just, I, obviously, they must have listened to you because what you asked for, you got. Well, the players did execute yesterday very well. Uh, it's hard to believe that yesterday's team was the same team that played at Wisconsin the mm -hmm. week before, but I think when you believe in yourself and you think you can do something and you really set your mind to it and focus on it, you see the results that you can get. We'll look at the game and all the great plays and have a lot more from the coach on Michigan and Michigan State and more on the Nick Saban Show when we return in just a moment. Stay with me. You know, I'm just ecstatic. This was a great win for our program, for everyone that's all been a part of Michigan State football ever since they've been here. This was a lot of tradition, a lot of pride today that won that game. We had good preparation in a hotel. We were all focused. We felt that, you know, we play 60 minutes of ball, we'll win. That's what we did. We never got down even when they scored late in the game. We just got together as a team and said, hey, we got to do this one. Welcome back. This was such a marvelously well-played college football game on Saturday. So many big plays. Let's start with the first half highlights, then we'll hear from Nick. And here's Spartan broadcaster George Blaha with a call. Mason. The end zone, you get a punt return, and then the play with Green for a touchdown. Big first half. Well, I thought we played about as well in the first half as, as, as we could play as a football team. And, you know, we left some points on the board. We missed two field goals that really weren't out of our range for us to make. Uh, we got the ball on the 35-yard line going in once and didn't get any points. So I was really concerned that we left about nine points, you know, on the field in the first half, which could come back to haunt us. And in the second half, you know, we knew Michigan was going to make a push. They were going to take it laying down. Um, and the kids just responded and did what they had to do. Dramatic second half now. And once again, here's George Blaha with a call of the Spartans and the Wolverines. <laughs> <laughs> Chills watching that, one of the all-time great drives there at the end of the game to pull it out. Well, the thing about it was is there were so many different players who stepped up and made plays. Obviously, Tony uh, did an outstanding job of engineering the drive, but, you know, Scotty made plays, Sin made plays, Mace made a couple great plays, I mean, the 4th and 11 play, uh, and then obviously Nigeria making the touchdown catch, which Tony avoided a rush, and he had his mobility back, with, which, which helped him on several occasions in this game. And it was a great drive, and it's a credit to our players to be able to engineer it and do it and pull it off, and it was a great win for our team. We'll have Nick talk a lot more about this game coming up on our show. Stay with us. We're going to show you 94 plays on the Telestrator <laughs> and have more highlights when we come back in just a moment. I think we played a full 60 minutes. We never thought we were going to lose that game any time of the game. And uh, I think our receivers, our receiving core, and our line, our whole offense did a great job, and the defense did an excellent job. We had a great team effort, you know, all the way around. You know, when you hold a team like Michigan to three points for the uh, first half, that's really impressive. And uh, we came back out there, and we didn't do so well second half, but our offense, then they came on strong, and they, uh, I think they were the determining factor for us winning this game today. Welcome back. Next on the Telestrator, we got a couple plays to illustrate for you in detail, both from the first, uh, from the second half. Your defense has had problems over the season. Everybody knows that, Nick, but they made some big plays at crucial times, and this one's from the second half. Well, Michigan really went into this game and played us almost exclusively in two tights and two wides, all right, which we categorize as silver formation. 
I, you have a tight end here, a tight end here, a single back, and two wide receivers. So they keep both ends closed so you don't have an open end, which means it's hard to angle, slant, do anything, and they pretty much make you play straight up football. Now this is the eight-man front that we carried into the game. You see we have five down guys here. We take Ike Reese right here and put him down, bring Marvin right up, put Carl Reeves here, and this is Reggie Garnett in the middle. So, so we got as many guys up front as the law allows. All right, they run the counter OT. The key on this play is what Jabbar Treats does here when he closes the play through the upfield knee of the guard and makes the ball spill outside to the linebacker, Carl Reeves, who is already outside, so they can't really block him. And we really stripped two blockers off, so this is an excellent job and good defensive football um, and really the way you have to play that type of formation to have any success. And you had people swarming to the ball, I thought, a great deal of the time during this game Saturday. I thought our defensive players in this game did an outstanding job of giving effort and play with, playing with toughness. I mean, there were numerous times where we knocked the runner back, and Bianca Batuka is a great back. He certainly impressed me in the game. Uh, the guy plays with great effort, and he keeps churning no matter what happens and gets a lot of extra yards on his effort. There are a lot of great plays in Michigan State football history. Here is one. This one won the game for the Spartans, and Nick can now illustrate this on the Telestrator. Well, I, I think, you know, the key to this play is our offensive line did an outstanding job in pass protection because Mich one, Michigan's strength of their team is right here in their defensive line. I mean, they, they have good pass rushers uh, and excellent players. Now, Tony played with mobility in this game for the first time since he's been back from his injury. He avoided the rush several times in the game and he's gonna do the same thing here. Now we just went down and ran, this was fives with the middle read. I thought he was gonna throw the ball initially to Musin in the middle. All right, he comes back. All right, they reroute him and jam him up a little bit. You see we have good pass protection. All right, we get the rush distorted and push some people by the quarterback, which to me is the worst thing that can happen on defense. All right, Nigeria turns up all right, when he ran out of real estate on the sidelines came back for the ball, which this is the toughest thing for a defensive back to do is play a bad ball throw. All right, and he had the guy covered. Tony threw the ball behind him on the back ear, back pad, which we call it, and, and IG adjusted to the ball, made a great catch. So you got 11 guys, made a big play there, not just Banks and not just Carter, obviously. Oh, it takes a whole group to succeed against uh, a fine defense like Michigan, but it was a great play and a big play in the game. You know, we play, doesn't like to get hit, you know, and just, just hit them and keep hitting them, and eventually they'll lay down. And, um, you know, they just kept fighting the day, and uh, it was a situation where we didn't want to lay down and just came up big in the end. But, but as an offensive football team, we have a lot of confidence, and, and our special teams play, a couple plays that the Mace made, you know, it, it, it let us know that, that, that we're, you know, just as good a football team as this team, and, and we have just as much chance of winning as they do. So uh, I think we showed that today. Even with a big win, this will not be an easy week of practice you've got planned for your team. Well, I think the big challenge for us is anytime you have a great win, the, the challenge for the coaches and the staff is to get the team back, get them focused on the next game. Uh, and our ability to do that will determine whether we can have any success at Indiana. So the Spartans play at Indiana next week, a lot to play for, but hey, congratulations. You're the only coach to beat Michigan in your first try. Thank you. Know, you. Smile and say it. Right. That's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Nick Saban Show. So long. The Nick Saban Show has been brought.